the ball mill. This is Rev 2. Um, since the last time you saw it, um, I've had to make modifications to it. I put a uh, faster uh, gearhead motor on here. And I also had to add two bearings to support the weight of the ball mill on this end and another bearing on the uh, inside here just to, uh, you know, if this thing comes closer, it'll just keep it from, from pulling in. And uh, it's been working pretty good. It's been running out here in the garage for almost a month now. And I've just been processing some aluminum foil. And I want to make some 500 mesh aluminum powder with it. So I'm going to go ahead and shut it off and open it up. Okay, so I've opened the ball mill up and uh, I'm going to dump the contents out into this colander so we can sort through it. And there's the aluminum powder. Uh, this is mixed with charcoal, so it's aluminum dark. But um, I'm going to shake the uh, colander a little bit here. There's mostly the aluminum powder. So the next step is just going to be to classify it down to 500 mesh aluminum and then put the remainder back into the mill and let it process some more. Alright, so we're going to dump this into a mason jar so that we can classify it. And let's get this. So we'll start with the 100 mesh lid classifier, screw that on and stick a new jar on here. And I'm going to shake it up and uh, see how much of this gets into there. So I've processed about a quarter of this uh, stuff from the ball mill through the 100 mesh screen and uh, this is 100 mesh powder in here. I'm going to try and process it down through a 200 mesh screen next and uh, see how much we end up with in the 200 mesh screen. Oh and then your hands turn silver while you're working with this stuff. It's uh, very powdery. So, after processing it for about 20-30 minutes by hand, um, you end up with quite a bit of 100 mesh material. And then I tried filtering that down to 200 mesh, and that ended up with a small amount of 200 mesh material. And then the 500 mesh material, it's pretty hard to see, but there's not a whole lot in there. Um, I have to come up with a way to motorize this because I tell you what, shaking these little containers takes a while and it takes a lot out of your hand. It's like shaking a can of paint. But um, it does work and I'm going to motorize it so that uh, this will process a lot faster or a lot more automated anyways. So that'll be the next thing I try to do. Thanks for watching.